Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over four sets that I think you should keep your eyes on because the value in the set is rising, the sealed product at price is actually rising as well, and the supply of the product is very low. Stick around, you're definitely gonna to wanna to hear number three. All right guys, so quickly, before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider it. We talk about MTG Finance news, uh, share some opinions, everything like that. So if you're interested, please consider it. It would mean a lot to me. All right, so the first set that I want to get into is Streets of New Capenna. Um, if you look uh, at the graphic here, the TCG player price for that is about $136.50. Um, and the amount of listings until the box actually reaches 150 is only 24, according to my notes here. So, and that's as of, you know, a few hours ago today. And that actually does see some pretty regular sales on TCG player. Now, mind you, of course, there's eBay, there's other ways to buy boxes. It's not like the only, you know, markets on TCG Player, but I'm just going to use that as a benchmark for this video. Um, so let's dive into why the set's good. You know, um, well, first off, you have your Triomes or your Headquarters or whatever the hell you want to call them, but that's probably one of the best fetchable lands you could possibly get, especially in games like Commander. The more colors you play, the more you're going to want these in your deck. Um, I mean, those cards are seeing price points from $15 at the low end all the way up to $30 if you're playing with Jetmere's Garden. Although I will say Jetmere's Garden is very specific to standard right now, and I do think that one will see uh, a decline and we'll see, you know, the the Espers, the uh, the Salt Ties of the world go up, Salt Ties in, uh, in Ikoria. But um, yeah, so it's definitely just for the lands itself, you know, it's it's something you definitely want to pay attention to. Um, the cards are good. The negativity on the set is very high just because this was in that era of, um, you know, like the Amazon dumps, everything like that. And now people are starting to, starting to kind of move away from that mentality. Um, and that's why you kind of see the price rising. Like even, shoot, look back to like January, uh, you saw Capenna boxes, collector boxes going on TCG player and eBay from anywhere from like 110 to 115, uh, shipped which was pretty brutal considering I'm, I think these came out at that 180 price point if I don't, if I, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, I mean, on top of the lands as well, you have a lot of good legendaries and a lot of good creatures. So you have Ledger Shredder, um, you have Jetmere, uh, you know, the Rafine even in standard. I don't know if that card's going to hold up over time. I actually don't know how much that's played in commander. I hate that I'm, that I immediately, my head just goes to that for, uh, for eternal formats, but that's the day and age we're in. So yeah, Streets of New Capenna. I put this one first. It's pretty obvious. I mean, it's a good set. It's going to appreciate. The lands in it are great. They haven't been reprinted yet, at least in any meaningful way. Um, and I don't know if we're going to see that for a little bit. Maybe maybe in like a master set in the future, but they've already, you know, released that they're going with fetch lands. So yeah, I think, I think Streets of New Capenna has a lot of room to move up. Um, just because the negativity on it's so low, and yeah, I, I yeah, I just think it's a it's a great opportunity. Um, obviously, do what you want, but um, but that's just my opinion on it. So let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. So number two on the list, we are talking about Wilds of Eldraine collector boxes. Right now on TCG Player, they're going for about two hundred twenty four dollars, give or take, and um, that's shipping included. So with tax, two forty out the door. And for these boxes to hit two fifty shipped on TCG Player only 54 boxes have to sell in a standard set. So this set's been doing pretty well. It's been kind of sitting flat since it came out at that 224 price range. I think it maybe would it maybe drop to like 200 at one point, but it's been slowly climbing up and it's been kind of sitting at that point. Now, this is a standard set. So a lot of cards in this set, one, are very powerful, and two, are getting played very much in standard, and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of commander cards in there as well. So there's actually a lot of cards just above the $5 point just because they're played so much. Not, a, not only that, you have uh, Beseech the Mirror, which is, you know, a pretty great tutor card. Um, what is that? What is that white crater hoof? It's like Moonlight Cavalry, something like Moonlit Cavalry, something like that. And then we have Agatha's Soul Cauldron as well, which is still sitting above $50, which I'm very shocked at. You know, you see these like collector boxes and you get like tons and tons of mythics, everything like that. And then you see cards like this that barely get pulled and the value kind of sits. So, you know, it's it's very good for the for the long-term health of the set, at least in terms of price point. 
Um, not only that, in the collector boxes you have the anime cards, you have the enchanting tales, which you could actually get in draft too. Um, and then you also have the confetti foils, which are surprisingly holding up extremely well. So if you look at the top, top line ones, you know, like your doubling seasons, your uh, Rhystic Studies, things like that, they're holding pretty much at what they were selling for at release. I think at the top end for like a Rhystic Study, you're looking like 449 shipped, something like that. But I mean, that obviously speaks to how rare these cards are, but at the end of the day, people when they're opening boxes, if they're if they're opening boxes, a lot of people like that chase and like something to, to go after. Um, it's not necessarily that like uh, serialized cards, I mean, Ixalan and this set kind of prove that you don't need uh, those cards to do well. You just need something for people to chase to want to open boxes. Obviously, you, you know, you want your singles for decks and everything as well. But a lot of people who open boxes just want that that thrill of the chase, you know what I mean? So there's there's something to be said for like the gam gambler's premium that's in sealed boxes. So yeah, keep an eye on uh, Wilds of Eldraine. Seriously, I do think it's going to be starting to move up soon. Maybe as as it actually gets out of standard. So maybe you know, give it a couple of years. Obviously, and everything on this channel we talk about holding long. So I think give it a few years. This set's going to appreciate very well, and it may even move up in the interim. Just because I mean, look at how well Ixalan's doing with all of its good cards. Wilds of Eldraine's a very powerful set, too. It just kind of got lost in the weeds when uh, when Ixalan came out. So keep an eye on it, and let's move over to number three. All right, guys, number three, hear me out. Don't roll your eyes, and if you want to dislike the video, go ahead. You can do it and run. But I am talking about Aftermath Epilogue Boxes. Now, on TCG Player, these are going for about $56.88 shipped. So, you know what, like a couple extra bucks for tax. Let's say... $65 out the door. Now for this set to get to $70 and beyond, you only need 31 boxes to sell on TCG Player. That's really not hard to do. They're actually selling pretty well, and I'll tell you why. So it's a 50 card set, and 10 cards of that 50 card set are over $10, and even five of those cards are over $20. So um, the main two cards that you'll notice uh, are gonna, or three cards actually, there's Obnixilis, um, there is the Nissa, and then what's that? Oh, Calyx. Oh my God. Uh, have you played standard against Calyx? You, you might die. Um, so those cards are, if you get the hollow foil version, which I understand is the most, um, uh, rarest rarity, um, it essentially pays for the box. Now there are a lot of cards under that as well that are around that four to $5 point and everything's starting to shift up. The supply is low. I mean, it really is just, a, it, it is supply and demand to its fullest extent. The supply of the boxes is low. The single cards are being bought and played with. Less are on the market. People are going to want to open boxes to get these. I, I don't know if it's going to be today. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow. But this box, I really do feel like it will appreciate. Now, mind you, Aftermath has a lot of uh, of negativity on it, you know, the the smaller booster packs, people just didn't like it in general. I'm I'm pretty sure that one was Amazon dumped as well. Um, there's a lot of negative pressure on this product right now, but please know that it is out of print. There are very few boxes on TCG Player. Actually, I think I took a note. Um, I did. So there are only 298 boxes currently listed on TCG Player. That's pretty crazy. If you think of all those boxes, now mind you, they're, they're all listed at different prices, but I think I broke it down. And if I, if I remember the number correctly, it's like $16,000 worth of product. It's really not a lot of product on TCG Player right now. eBay, there's boxes out there, I'm sure. You know, your store probably has them, everything like that. But it's, the supply is thinning up and you really, really just should keep an eye on it and this is what I talk about on this channel about getting your emotion out of it, getting all your biases out of it, and just accepting it for what it is. This is running out of actual sealed product. So in time, if the cards are wanted, which they are, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be the price point they are if people weren't paying for it. The box has potential to go up. And, you know, I think it's just going to go up with time, so it really doesn't matter there, but I think this box has a potential to go up very quickly. I don't think it's a flip or anything like that, you know. If you try to flip any of these boxes, you're probably gonna get screwed and I'm gonna laugh at you. 
But if you're trying to hold this long or trying to just hold some boxes that, that you think are cool and you want to collect and can actually accrue in value, I think this is one. All right. So let's move on to the last one. Number four is coming right up. All right. Getting a little classy by the piano. Number four. Uh, if you're a follower of this channel, you know I love this box. It's Unfinity. All right. Unfinity. Um, you know, the meme set of magic, the unsets. They do have a history of doing well. I'm just, I'm not going to, you know, downplay it at all. But mind you, that was in a time where they weren't printing, printing as much. There are very few boxes of those. Most cards in that, those sets got destroyed back in the day. So, you know, take it, take it how you'd like. But I personally think that this box, much like the other unsets, will eventually go up. And you could see that happening in a big way already. So um, when I kind of got into my position of Unfinity. That was in, I think, January. Uh, so a few months ago, uh, bought a bunch of boxes, and I think we were floating around that 110 point, um, which if you've seen boxes today, they're going on TCG Player for about $163. So they are moving up. Now, do I think they're gonna move much higher, much quicker, or, or in, in, the, in the short term? I don't know about that. I think they're going to kind of float around that 160, 170, um, and they won't get to that 180 point for a while. So the 180, I'm looking at my notes right now, um, there are 29 listings of the these boxes for below 180. So once those 29 sell out, then we're going to be around that 180 point. Um, this box sells a little slower than you'd like like to see, uh, but sometimes it gets a little hyped up by people on the internet, You know, especially uh, Alpha Investments. Um, when he talked about it in his one video, it, it actually like made a very big price move on this. I'm not going to lie. You know, you, if you do your research and you watch when he posted the video versus when sales happened to this to move it to 160, the, the timelines match up. So I'm not going to say it's, it wasn't pumped a little bit. Now, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think when, you know, when sets are shown off and people can see the, you know, the fun of it, um, then people can see the value in it. So I don't, I said pump, but I don't really actually mean that. Um, so the set itself is very good. And uh, I'm not even going to talk about the shock lands right now. But if you look at Comet, that stellar pup, <clears throat> those bo the boxes, those uh, singles are going for about like $23 for like the highest rarity. And like 20, so no, no, actually, I think it was $29 at its highest rarity and $21 at its lowest. And Saw in Half, which is actually a very played card is actually going for like $15. Now, that's only two cards, don't get me wrong, that's not gonna, that's not gonna, you know, pump any EVs or anything like that. But to know you could get something else along with the fetch lands that you get two or three per box, it definitely helps, um, it helps the sticker shock when you know you're only gonna get a couple of those shock lands. So I think that's very good. I think those, those cards, actually you read them, they're actually pretty powerful. They could move up even further um, since they're probably not going to be the target of a reprint anytime soon since they are from an unset. But that's just, you know, my opinion on that. Um, yeah, I do see Unfinity going up well over 200 in the next two to three years. I don't think it's unreasonable to see it at that point. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I, I love holding it. It's it's so fun to look at. I, I like opening those boxes. I, I try not to open any of my collection, but when I do, it's a very, very fun set. And those Galaxy Shocks are going for like well over $100. Like, I mean, it, well, for like Water Grave and all that. Like your Temple Garden, you could probably get it for 50 But still, it's very cool space-themed artwork. Space-themed Eclipse Day, yeah? Um, but yeah, just, just a really fun set. And, uh, and yeah, I, I'd consider it if you were, if you were looking to get into it and you can find it a little cheaper than it's going now, then maybe it's a good price for you. But yeah, that's Unfinity and that's the list. Get ready for the closing. Everyone, thank you so, so much for dropping by. I really appreciate you uh, sticking around. Um, I hope you enjoy the, the little, you know, bump to production here, you know, moving around a little bit, have a little bit more space in the office. Um, and if you haven't considered subscribing, Please, it would really help if you want to see more of my content, turn notifications on. Throw a comment down there. If you haven't seen on any of my other videos, I respond to everybody. <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to last, but uh, but I really love talking to you guys. And I really appreciate everybody stop by. If you don't subscribe, that's perfectly fine. Just thank you for supporting a small creator. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.